Hey everyone, it's Anthony and I am here today to walk you through how to download activity files that you have created in Active Inspire from Google Drive to play on your Promethean board. Other tutorials put out by Promethean have this um, explained by putting it on a USB drive, a thumb drive, um, saving it to your computer and then plugging it into the Promethean board, which you also can do and that works great. Um, but this is a way that you can do it wirelessly without having to worry about getting a USB um, thumb drive involved. So, um, what I have, uh, what I'm assuming is that you are already signed in to um, the cloud. Um, you have sort of, I'm signed in to, it's hard to see, uh, sorry for the glare there. Um, I'm signed in with my school account. So, uh, I'm able to access my Google Drive directly from the board here. And um, so I've already gone through those steps. If you haven't gone through those steps yet to get yourself logged into Cloud Connect, make sure that you do that. There are tutorials on the site to help you go through that. Um, but what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna open up my Unified Menu. I'm gonna go to my Locker, and I'm gonna go to my Files app here. So I'm gonna open up Files. And in my Files app, on the left-hand side, you see the listing of the different places where you have um, things that you can open on your board. And down at the bottom, I have my Google Drive there. So I'm gonna go ahead and tap on my Google Drive. And this is gonna open up all the folders in my Google Drive. I just created a demo folder um, that's gonna show up with my first one here. And I've got two files here. Now, in, activity, um, in Active Inspire, you can create multiple file types. You can create activities, you can create flip charts, you can create resources. Um, so flip charts uh, will not open on the board, but the activities will. And the activities are the interactive ones. Those are the ones that you really kind of want to use on here. You don't want to just show a PowerPoint presentation on here. You want it to be engaging and interactive. So the activity um, files are what you want to create. And there are a number to choose from. I created a simple matching activity of uh, planets in our solar system. I think I got it right. I may have not have gotten it right. If I didn't, please don't hate me. Um, but uh, I did leave out Pluto because I know that that it doesn't count anymore. So, um, so I have my files here and I see part of my file names here. If you want to see the whole file name, if that makes it a little bit easier for you to know which one is which, there's your little button up here in the upper right hand corner where you've got a grid or a list, depending on what view you're in. So right now I'm in list view so I can see the whole uh, file name. And um, what you'll notice, you can see there in, in the video, is that the top one is a flip chart. And I'll show you that one doesn't open, um, but the planet's sample activity does open. So when I tap on flip chart here, there's no app to open it up. So that's not something you can do on here. You can still open the file if your computer is connected. You can open it from your computer um, and display it on the Promethean board. But it's, again, it's not interactive with the board. So uh, we want to choose those activities uh, files. So this is the planets and my sample activity here. I created in Active Inspire on my computer. I saved it to my Google Drive. I tap on this. It's going to immediately open up in the activity player and it shows that it's a matching activity and it gives you simple directions match the items to the correct words or phrases drag the tiles to move let's play i'm just going to tap that and you see here that i have just really simple listed the first planet second planet third planet just so the kids uh, kind of get used to which planet the, the order of the planets in the solar system i scroll through to find um i scroll through by tapping that and dragging it down so my first planet is down here, Mercury. The second planet is Venus. Third planet is Earth. If I make a mistake and I choose the wrong one for the fourth planet, or any of the planets, it's gonna slide them back there like that. So that's a really simple matching activity that I just created kind of on the fly in Active Inspire. Um, save it to my Google Drive, and then I'm able to open it up through Cloud Connect through the Files app on your Promethean board uh, to play in the activity player here on the Promethean board. Hope you found that helpful. If you need any help with this or anything else re related to Promethean boards or any ed tech items that you have here at school, let me know. Happy to help at any time. Thanks so much. Have a great day.